The year was 1865. The Civil War had just ended and slavery had been abolished in America with the 13th Amendment. What lay next for the freed black men and women beaming with hope for a new unchained future? Many knew that education would be the very thing that would open doors for them. Doors that had previously been padded shut. Meanwhile, that same year in Louisville, Kentucky, 12 black Baptist churches met at the Fifth Street Baptist Church to form a convention, a convention that identified education as being part of their newfound mission. In 1879, their vision came to life with the opening of the Kentucky Normal Theological Institute. The school's purpose initially would be to create teachers of color, but would go on to house a medical school, law school, and be dubbed the Black Harvard of the South. Then comes the stock market crash. The nation is gripped by the Great Depression, and Simmons College becomes gravely affected along with the rest of America. Forced to close its doors in August of 1930, the Kentucky Normal Theological Institute, now known as Simmons University, is sold to the University of Louisville. Simmons never fully regained its footing following that blow. The once budding institution that served as a lighthouse of opportunity for black America had been scaled down to being a Bible college. Then on January 15, 2005, the General Association of Baptists in Kentucky appoints Reverend Dr. Kevin W. Cosby as the 13th president of Simmons College. Under his leadership, the college was able to buy back its original campus. 2014, Simmons gains accreditation through the Association of Biblical Education. 2015, Simmons is nationally recognized as the nation's 107th HBCU. 2016, the National Baptist Convention of America International adopts Simmons as its official school. The summer of 2019, Simmons College and JCPS announces the launch of the Transition to Teaching Initiative, which will allow Simmons College to create a pipeline of black teachers for the school district. Fall of 2019, Simmons College is named as being one of the top small private and public black institutions on the rise by HBCUCampaignFund.org. And my dream and hopes for Simmons is that Simmons would always remain uh, an independent institution that is governed by blacks and that we are unapologetically an institution that is using our institutional strength for the advancement and the promotion of issues important uh, to, act to the American descendants of slavery. Being in the HBCU as well, um, you understand the two dynamics that you are within America, you are American, but then you also a descendant of slavery as well. And you see in both of that going, and it's like, wow, you know, like, I not only have, um, I guess you say, a trauma that I, you know, that my ancestors had experienced and I've been affected by it, but I'm also honored to be here, you know, because I actually put a foothold to this, you know, foundation that you see here. So much ground has been gained within this last decade. Regional accreditation by SACS is our next target. The Simmons flame became reignited through the generosity and support of dedicated partners and community members like you. And it is your continued support that will ensure that our story doesn't end here because we have an entire new generation that will carry on the torch.